Finally, we are back with FNAF news. It's been a bit. It's been so long. I have news from April 16th. So honestly, I don't want to waste any more time. I do want to show you guys this. You guys are incredible. And as a thank you, if you have any fan art, I want to show it off in videos more. So send it my way on Twitter. It's linked down below. It's just at Johnny Blocks. Because you guys are freaking amazing. And you take your time to make art of me. And I think that's absolutely insane. So... You know, as a thank you, I want to show it off more. The artist is linked down below. Go show some support. Go show them some love. And now let's hop into the news. Yeah, so that news I have from April 16th is a update to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator on the PlayStation 4. Fixed issues with liability stagnation. Fixed unlimited money exploit. Added more D-pad controls throughout the game. Fixed Candy Cadet. Made the insanity ending a little easier. Fixed the unlimited playtest exploit. Fixed inability to access to bottom tiles on the largest floor plan and also miscellaneous other minor issues. Just in case you missed it, there you go. It's nearly a month old, but there you go. So moving on to some actual new news, Ultimate Custom Night is finally out on consoles. That's right, that is all seven of the main FNAF games finally out on mobile and consoles. That was the last one. And even though it was delayed, it is officially out in Europe. To comply with Nintendo's marketing requirements, they had to change the typical UCN logo from containing the UCN in the mouth to Ultimate Custom Night. And yeah, basically because of that, in Europe they had to delay the game until yesterday. But it's all good you can go get it wherever you are and if you're playing the game and you find bugs do not worry click team has been collecting a lot of data on bugs and glitches in the port and they'll be releasing an update soon they plan on releasing a patch for the port sometime either this week or next week it's also worth noting that since this is the final main fnaf game that needed to be ported click team are now working on the fan verse initiative games they've already ported flumpties 1 and 2 to mobile so hopefully we can see them on console soon and jonachrome did say that when all the ports for Flumpties were done, he would release Flumpties 3. Of course, after it was also ported. So, I mean, hopefully later this year, we can get the rest of the Flumpties ports out, and also Flumpties 3. And speaking of the Fanverse initiative, Kane Carter confirmed over on Twitter that he has received his very first update on the Fanverse merchandise since he gave character references to Scott all the way back in August. He says it'll still be a long while before anything actually happens, but he's seen some great things. Really exciting. It's worth noting that, of course, he hasn't confirmed what the merchandise is, if it's Funko, Sanchi, or McFarlane, anything like that. I'd imagine it would be Funko, though I don't know what line of merchandise it would be. Also, again, I don't know if it even is Funko, but either way, very exciting. I think the Fanverse Initiative is one of the best ideas that Scott has ever done. He's such an amazing guy, and I'm so, so happy for all of these creators because it's just, it's insane what Scott has done. And I'm very, very excited for all the games, the merchandise, all all that stuff. Speaking of merchandise, man, I I'm killing these segues. Something I haven't seen really anybody talk about are the new FNAF AR posters by Trends. Maybe because they are just posters of FNAF AR, nothing too exciting. It's, you know, it's the same art we've seen for the past like year and a half. And also they did it in a weird way. It's like three separate posters that you combine into one, but they're each like 20 bucks. Uh, what? I don't know. It's weird, but it's new. So it's news. And speaking of more FNAF AR merchandise, the official 20 22 FNAF calendar has been revealed. And as you probably guessed by the segue, yes, it is themed around FNAF AR. Unfortunately, not any new images. I think it would have been awesome if we got at least new artwork, maybe like some new renders of the characters. But going off of the cover and also the month of January and February, it seems like it's going to be reused art. Also, can I just take a second to point out the fact that Easter, you know, a, a holiday in April, is the theme for January. Like, what is even that? But that is the official 2022 FNAF calendar. It releases on June 21st of this year, so quite soon, actually. And our final clean segue for the video, speaking of FNAF, y'all, let's move on to what the heck is happening with this game. I mean, their scary, you know, spooky Tales event abruptly ended without any, you know, confirmed end date, so it just kind of stopped existing. And then nothing happened for the next couple of days, and then people logged on to the game, and in the shop was the Winter Wonderland themed character skins. Oh, and also it was the last day of April, you know, the day in which the update, you know, the new gameplay update was supposed to release. It wasn't in the game, Illumix didn't say anything on their social media pages, so everyone was like, what? 
what is happening? Thankfully, the day after that, Olympics made a tweet saying what's going on with the game. They say, happy Friday all. We're so glad that we're a step closer to the weekend. We wanted y'all to know that our whole team's in deep focus mode as we put finishing touches on our big update. It's coming soon. So hold tight and peek at what's coming. And then they released a brand new teaser for the update. As you can see in the teaser, we have the module from the last teaser. Down at the bottom, we're also in a fight with Freddy and he has a health bar above him. Now, that's either his health or our health. If we assume it is indeed a health bar, which frankly, we don't know if it is or not, but I'm just gonna say it is. So either it's for Freddy, where we have to shock him a couple of times before he's officially defeated, or it's for us, where he attacks us a couple of times and then we die. It's an interesting take. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it because it will drag out you know the fights super long and already the fights can go on for like five minutes so I, I'm not sure what to think about this new update just yet but it, it is intriguing as for when it releases I don't know this was posted on April 30th and tomorrow is the 6th which is one week after this post so hopefully we can expect it soon tomorrow hopefully but I don't know and finally let's talk about security breach because it has been delayed this post was made uh, about a week ago when Scott released his brand new game Fury's Rage which was it was so much fun but I didn't really get to talk about the post because well Scott released a new game and of course I had to play it so let's go through it he says hey everyone so here is your big security breach news for the week as you all know SB was originally planned to come out at the end of 2020 but as we kept working on it and kept adding to it, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and needed more time to finish. And now, again, I've made the decision to put more time and money into it to make sure it's finished properly, and that means a late 2021 release instead of early 2021 release, like I had originally wanted. It will be worth it. I know it's disappointing, but I didn't want you all to walk away empty-handed, so I made something for the community, and that is the brand new game that he released, and we did play through it. So let's talk about what this means. Of course, the game is not releasing any time soon. We don't know when it's going to be released. All we know is that it's releasing later in the year. Some people are saying like August or September. I don't think that's the case. I'm thinking more October, you know, Halloween time, maybe even going into November. I don't know, but honestly, don't let this get to you because I know a lot of people are always upset when it gets delayed. But as Scott said, they are making it bigger, better, and they're putting more time, effort, and money into the game to make it the best it can possibly be for the community. So as much as the delay does, suck and trust me I know it sucks to wait even longer after we've had so many different release dates. It is for the best and Scott and Steerwell are doing their absolute hardest for the community, for the game, for the fans. So yeah, that is it. That is all the news I have to go over. Again, it's a lot because we... <laughs> We took kind of a break off with uh, Scott's new game, and we also had a lot of Fazbear Freight Book news, which was going to be in this video, so if you're curious why there's no news on Fazbear Frights, it's in one of my past videos on it. The new cover for the book came out, and I was like, you know what, I'll just throw the news in that video. So I'll leave that link down below in case you missed it. Up next, I want to talk about the Fanverse Initiative, because I promised a video on that uh, maybe like a month ago, and I never got around to making it, so that is coming out soon. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.